studying eddy currents is critical for a student to understand when we're dealing with such things as electric motors. So here we have the armature as well as the field or the, uh, the stator of an electric motor. And I'm not sure if people can see this, but if I bring this up closer to the camera, can you see that the body is made of stacked laminations of steel? Same thing goes for the outside of this body. This obviously is for an AC motor, but more importantly, as we study motor control, why is it when we look at a contactor, I take the coil out and I separate the coil from its iron core, we can see that the core is made up of stacked laminations of steel. The reason being is if we did not do this, when we had the machine running and we actually were running alternating currents through this coil, this steel, if it was solid, would actually heat up and eventually the contactor would actually get so hot that this plastic or the, uh, well, the plastic would actually start to melt. This is one of the critical uh, areas of why we have to use laminated steel. Now, there's also in a textbook that we should add, and this is at the foundry, when they're uh, in the process of developing these steel alloys, that they add 1% of silicone, they find that the steel has better magnetic properties, but in addition, you can tell this is an AC device because of the fact, and I'm going to hold this up closer to the camera, this has shading coils. And we can't have a practical magnetic field with AC unless we actually have shading coils. So there's shading coils on this section, and it may not be readily apparent, but in the other section in here, there are shading coils. This segment's going to feature a demonstration on the effects of eddy currents on devices that do not feature laminated steel cores. I've got a coil with a solid steel bar that will sit inside of it that's going to replicate um, a relay or even a contactor coil. I've got a variable AC power supply and I'm going to be turning it on. I will be bringing up the voltage to about 15 volts and what we're going to do is we're going to take a temperature measurement of the bar and then we're going to do a comparison after five minutes has elapsed and we're going to see what is the difference in temperature when we subject a device that is going to be powered from an AC power source and it does not have a laminated steel core. We're going to take a temperature reading of the bar. About 23 and a half degrees. 24. We're going to put that into the coil and we're going to turn the power on. You can see we're already at four and a half volts and I'm going to bring it to about 15 volts. Now what's really interesting too is you can actually see the effect, the lens effect here, where as I try to withdraw the bar, the magnetic field keeps wanting to draw it in because inductors naturally oppose a change of current. So I would actually be changing the impedance and it just does not want to come out. You can actually hear the humming. Now I'm going to set my watch for five minutes and we're going to turn the power off after five minutes and then we're going to take a temperature reading and we're going to see the effects of having alternating current circulating through this coil and what effect if any it will have on a solid iron bar at the heart of it. 
While we're waiting, I'm also taking a current reading with my open jaw meter and we can see that we're drawing about approximately 5 amps of current at about 19 or 20 volts. Now what's really interesting, I was speaking about Lenz's law earlier, watch has how the current climbs. Oosh, it's getting hot. When I try and withdraw the core because I'm affecting the impedance of the coil. Okay, it's been about four and a half minutes. I'm turning the power off because it's heating up a little bit faster than I expected. I'm going to withdraw it from the core. And let's take a temperature reading. I've got about 47 or 50 degrees centigrade. Now, I'm wearing a glove because it's actually been heated from the inside out and I can't hold it with a pair of, with bare bare hands. So in trying to demonstrate the effects of an AC magnetic field that is constantly reversing, what you have are eddy currents. And eddy currents have a very uh, harmful effect on equipment that is not laminated and here's proof positive is that we are using a solid steel bar and we didn't even have it on for a full five minutes and it started to heat up this uh, this steel bar to the point where I can't touch it with my bare hands